If you're a returning player to New World, maybe you played at launch and got your character to 60, but you're returning for the expansion, what should you do? Well, I'm going to quickly show you a couple of things I would focus on. I got about 3000 hours in New World, just a little bit over, but let me show you what I would focus on if I was returning to prepare for the expansion. If you're not level 60 yet, obviously, you're going to want to level your character. Just follow the main story quest line. You should be able to level quite quickly. But gear is changing soon, so the gear grind is going away for now. But just to make sure, let me show you a couple of things. The first thing that I would do is level my professions. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do. If you, if you press K and you go to trade skills, Here's all of your trade skills, but the main thing that I want you to probably max out first is your gathering skills. Gathering skills is quite important in New World. This is how you craft the best gear, or you will be able to, since they're changing the gear system so that you can roll free perkers, which is like best in slot gear for the expansion. So you will be able to get best in slot gear. But level up your, your logging, your mining. You don't have to do fishing and music. That's not too important. But at least harvesting and tracking as well. They did include some catch up mechanics for this. While doing this you will be able to get like special resources. That you can use to quickly level up your professions as well. Just get these resources. Go to the appropriate station. Like there's a couple and you can craft like XP boost. While you can do this. For the expansion this will be kept to free a day. But at the moment you can craft as many as you like. I'm just keeping mine for the expansion. But if you haven't leveled your professions yet. This might help you as well. Also. Refining. Refining is quite important. All the resources you gather. Just make sure you can refine. For example if you gather raw leather. Just refine it. Until you can craft your. Basically your. Most valuable resource. Runic leather. This is on a cooldown. But until you get here. Just make sure you level everything and you should be good to go for the expansion once you level, level it completely. Why would you want to level all of these? Well, for the expansion, they are going to give a level increase for it. So it's quite important to max it out. Only 50 more levels for it. Right now you can level it till 200 and then you will be able to max it out. But for the expansion, it's 250. This is why we want to level it. Next up for the most important thing is probably your weapons. For the weapons you can just quickly level these. There's lots of leveling guides for weapons out here. But just choose something that you enjoy. Level it to 20. Make sure. I only have bow left to level. I never play bow. This is why it's been for the longest time. Like 2 years. I haven't played with bow. <laughs> it's just been sitting on level 18. But just level this. Oh, I'm, I'm actually leveling this. While farming for trophies. So, speaking of trophies. If you already got everything. That I just mentioned leveled. Then you can start working on your trophies. Trophies are going to be quite important. If I press K. And I go to my houses. You can see I've got a couple of trophies going for me. I already have my luck trophies. But it's not that important. The main ones that are important. That you're going to have to farm. Is the. Damaging trophies. Let me see if I got one in here. I, I actually don't have mine yet. I just started. But you can see like they will drop. Every now and then. A little trophy will drop. But it's important to get these to major trophies. And you can farm bosses. To get these trophies. I already started working on my angry earth trophy. That can that so that I can do more damage. In dungeons. Since the new update is going to be mostly Beast, I believe, and Angry Earth, I'm going to form my Beast trophies and my Angry Earth trophies. So definitely something you need to do. There's lots of groups going around in-game now farming these trophies. So definitely look out for them. You'll see in chat like Banes or something that they will plus in. So just join the group and farm it with everybody else. And the last thing is probably your faction reputation. Faction reputation is also going up. So it's quite important to max that out. I do have a video for it. Where I show how I maxed mine in a couple of days. But basically. 
if you see your faction rep, it's five now. They are going to include another tier. So definitely level this as well. The reason is because we might be able to buy like a mount skin or something valuable since it's going up a tier. Right now I just get my daily gypsum. So expertise is not going to matter in the next update. That's why I'm not mentioning you need to upgrade your expertise. Since these expertise things are going away. Which will make it a lot more easier for newer players to catch up. So definitely don't have to farm expertise. That's the main thing that I would do. There's something I actually missed. So I'm going to include it quickly here. There's another thing that you should get. It is your heart rune. So just go get this. You can get this by doing the brimstone storyline. If you start the story, eventually there will unlock a quest. And if you go at the top of brimstone, you'll see that you can unlock your heart rune. Somewhere here will pop up a quest. I think it's right here. The place of something. But here will get you will get a quest where you can get your heart rune. So that's all for this video. Hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a like. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch if you enjoy watching some Twitch. Or you can watch this video right here where I'll show you how to quickly level up your faction reputation.